Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 12th of 2025 is titled Solar Eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of two things. We see our moon and we see the new moon, which is positioned directly in front of our sun. So the sun is invisible and we see only the outer layers of the sun known as the corona. And that is the outer atmosphere of the sun as it streams there around the limb of the moon. We can also see some prominences, the pink off to the left hand side, which are parts of the sun being lifted off the surface by the sun's magnetic field. So they are not associated with the eclipse. In fact, they're always there. We just can't normally see them because the rest of the sun is overwhelmingly bright and it takes an eclipse or special equipment to be able to see those. Now, this was an eclipse that occurred in April of 2023, and this was what is known as a hybrid eclipse. So we talk about total solar eclipses and partial eclipses, and there's another type known as an annular eclipse. Well, this is an example of a hybrid eclipse. A hybrid is one that can be total in some areas, and annular in others. So annular is when a ring of material around the sun is visible even at the maximum cover. And that occurs generally when the moon is a little bit too far away from Earth. It therefore appears a little bit smaller in the sky and will not quite block out the full sun. Now this can occur during a total solar eclipse when the because of the curvature of Earth. So when it reaches its maximum and it's right at the front of Earth and the Earth, that little bulge of Earth is a little bit closer to the moon, it looks a little bit bigger and it could be just enough. So it's when you're right at that edge that sometimes when you're around the limb of the Earth early on or towards the end of the eclipse, it will then be an annular eclipse. But in the middle, it could actually be a total eclipse just because of that slight difference between the positioning of the Earth and the Moon, depending on exactly where you are on Earth. Now, the image here taken back in 2023 is not a single image. And in fact, many images we see are multiple exposures. In this case, 11 different exposures of different lengths taken during the about one minute that the moon totally covered the sun during that instant of totality. Now, those multiple exposures allow us to bring out more detail than would normally be seen. And that's why we see all of those streamers are coming out in the corona of the sun. If you've ever seen a total eclipse, you might see the corona, but it's just a fuzzy patch there. You can't pick out the detail because of the way your eyes collect light. A camera with longer, and here in this case, multiple exposures, can pick up far more detail than our eyes are capable of. So that was our picture of the day for June 12th of 2025. It was titled Solar Eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be an interesting voyage. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.